Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. Before we get started today, I wanted to take a moment to thank everyone for practicing with me on the channel. Today I'm hitting a milestone. This is my 100th video and just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge everyone out there who has been practicing with me over the last year and a bit and for supporting the growth of this channel. Today I have a new moon yin yoga practice for you so we can set our intentions for the next lunar cycle. We'll be focusing on the new moon in Cancer and Cancer is a nourishing, nurturing sign that's ruled by the element of water. The element of water helps us to connect with fluidity within ourselves and also connects us to the moon which rules cancer and the moon is connected to the divine feminine and the inner mother. So in today's practice we'll focus on opening up through the second chakra, the center of water element in the body and also through the heart chakra to connect us with our inner sense of self-nourishment and love. So let's get started today by coming into a heart opening asana. So we'll take a rolled blanket or you can also work with a bolster and we'll place that just across the upper back right at the space between the shoulder blades. And you can come down onto your back taking your prop between the shoulder blades. Dropping the shoulders off of the prop so your collarbone is nice and broad and open. And setting your head to the earth. You might want to add an extra folded blanket or pillow underneath the base of your skull so that you can keep a natural arc under your neck and there's no strain to the neck. And then open up your palms and relax the knees open, sliding the soles of your feet together and bringing a little bit of pull to the tissue through the pelvis and the hips. You can always add extra support underneath your knees or thighs as we'll be here for a few moments. Closing your eyes and taking a breath in and out. Feeling the tissue across your chest beginning to soften and release. And breathing in the waters of the moon, Soma, the healing nectar. Feeling the healing nectar opening at the heart. Letting go of thinking and simply feeling into your intention, your sankalpa, for this practice and for the coming lunar cycle. Becoming aware of how you can nourish and nurture yourself. Noticing where you can soften and become fluid in your body. And noticing where you can release 
and let go into the flow of your life. Expand your breath from the center of your chest into the edges of your body. Your breath holding your body in the space of support. And slowly draw your palms behind you and you can reach for opposite wrists or opposite elbows and gently draw your chin towards the throat, lengthening through the back of your neck for a few moments. Relax your chin, release your arms. Taking one more breath in and out with a sigh. Reach down through to your thighs and help your knees back towards each other, setting your feet to the floor. And we'll roll off of our prop to one side of the body Placing one palm to the ground and coming all the way up to a seated position. And as you come up to sit, just for a moment, bend through your knees. Hug your thighs to your chest, round your spine, drop your forehead to your knees and breathe. Drawing the shoulders up and floating your head up. And then taking your knees again open to the edges of the mat, soles of the feet together, or maybe a few inches apart if you need a little bit more space through your hips. And then slide your heels away from the body, widen through the flesh of the sits bones, adding support for your forehead in front of you. And of course, any support underneath your knees. And we'll take a breath here and begin to soften forward, opening up across the sacrum and through the lower back and wrapping around the hips, releasing also the tissue through the back of the heart. As you drop forward, soften your jaw. 
and allow the weight of your head to fully release into the pull of gravity. Shoulder blades widen. Inviting in the fluid vibration of water. And sensing into a passageway of fluids from the base of the spine through the neck and base of the skull to the eyebrow center. Bringing your awareness to the eyebrow center. And you can imagine here planting the seed of your sankalpa, your new moon intention. Take your time to roll up. Rolling your shoulders to your ears 
and down your back a few times. And then opening up your legs into a straddle, we'll come into dragonfly pose, bringing a little bit of stretch to the inner leg lines and opening up all the rivers of energies, the nadis through the leg lines. You can add some extra support through the sits bones just so that you're not rounding in the lower back. And we'll fold forward from here, deepening through the hips and pelvis and softening the heart. If you need more support, stack lots of pillows underneath your chest so that you feel held in this posture, almost as though you were just floating in water, carried by the waves of the ocean.
as you slowly roll up. Sense and feel into the tides of the body. Noticing a subtle fluidity and movement through the tissues. Tuning your body and your mind into the slow rolling waves the ocean tide. And from here, let's shift over to our left hip, bending the left shin bone and also the right shin bone. So we're coming into deer pose to 90 degree angles through our legs, taking a moment to adjust so you can feel the tissue around the left hip. And we'll take a breath here, lengthen the heart a little bit, and begin to fold forward, drawing the abdomen to the top of your thigh, and adding support either on top of your thigh or for your forehead. As you come down, if you're feeling tension through the lower back, just slide your back knee a little closer to the front heel, or you can even shift your body a little bit more off of the knee to the left if it's a little intense today.
a few breaths to roll up. Noticing the still point deep within the fluidity of the body and mind. Finding the deeper current of stillness below the waves. And feeling the stillness and the quiet of the moon piercing the mind. Unfolding through your body. Walking your fingertips behind you, lean back, draw the back leg forward, and rock your knees from side to side. Eventually coming over to the right side of the body, to 90 degree angles through your legs. Taking a moment to land and settle, and folding forward, making the adjustments that you need.
following your breath to transition out of the posture. Bringing your back leg forward and finding some movement. And we'll come down onto our backs, hugging our knees to our chest. Widen through the back body and let your shoulders drop down. We'll take both knees over towards the left. And you can either stay here in a two knee twist or you can slide the bottom knee down towards the bottom edge of your mat so that your knee lines up with your hip and you're still bending the bottom knee. Add a prop underneath the top knee, the floating knee, so that you can just rest through that leg. You might shift a little bit more over onto the hip and if you can, reach down for the bottom ankle and take a hold of the foot until you feel a nice stretch through the top of your thigh. If this is too intense for your knee, if you feel any pressure in the knee, then release your foot and just rest here. And gently opening across the chest, your head might float over to the right as the right shoulder drops to the earth. You can gently release your heel or your ankle and now take your right arm open to the right, palm facing the sky. your head floating back to center. Then you can slide away the prop from underneath your floating knee and draw the bottom knee back towards the left knee on top of knee. 
three big breaths. And slowly coming back to center. Relaxing your spine. You can bring your prop over towards the right and then hug your knees again to your chest and exhale both knees to the right side. Again, you can stay here in a two knee twist or the bottom knee draws down in line with the hip and you're propping the top floating knee. Open up across your chest and if it feels okay for the knee, you can reach down for your ankle or your heel and just lightly take a hold of the bottom foot. Release the bottom foot and take the left arm open to the left, dropping your head to the left. Slowly slide your prop away and draw the bottom knee up towards the right. Two knee twist. Bringing your head back to center. And exhale. Coming onto your back. Adjusting through the base of the head and let's lengthen the neck again by drawing our chin towards the throat and both knees to our chest. 
interlace your fingers, slide them to the base of the skull, and then round up elbows to knees. And dropping your head back down, supporting the backs of your knees if you'd like as you stretch out into your final relaxation. Opening palms to the moonlight, rocking your head from side to side, relaxing your neck. And as you settle into your final relaxation, bring your awareness to the navel center. And in your mind, repeat your sankalpa, your intention, one time. bringing your awareness to the center of your chest and to the heart, planting your intention and repeating like a mantra one time. And finally, resting your awareness back to the eyebrow center. Repeating your intention one last time. And then letting it go. Simply resting here. Taking several minutes here in this space of rest to fully integrate your practice. Thank you so much for practicing with me, and I'll see you again next week. Namaste. For more yoga practices like these, please like this video, comment below, and share this video with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.